I think one discovers one's calling and I sort of knew as I was growing up that would be my calling to do something that's aesthetic, that's creative. I did my professional studies at Yale in architecture and then I realized that architecture is not just a science and art but something much broader, something very encompassing and holistic. We approached the leading team and they allowed us to actually handle all disciplines which is a big commitment considering that this is a large project with huge landscape ground, huge interior elements. And we wanted to push it even one more step further. We want to also move towards some custom elements, some product design. When an architect with a strong vision is given the opportunity to control the different elements and disciplines such as landscape interior, you could approach the design very early on in a holistic manner. Being situated adjacent to a good class bungalow, we wanted to uh, capture the essence of what's around it. So as a result of that, we decided to create a rather large setback from the edge of this development and to create a wooded forested area. In the approach to the development, we have a rather attenuated compressed uh, driveway. We arrive at a courtyard, and then as you progress and turn, you are then greeted with a large communal space that has clubhouses, yoga pavilions, water bodies. When we plan the building, we are looking not just in terms of organic landscape between buildings, but we are also trying to use the buildings to create outdoor rooms so that the users of this community of uh, condominium residents can experience different parts of nature. We took the surrounding context, we brought it in. We started by thinking of the apartment spaces three-dimensionally. So we have an L-shaped apartment, and then interlock with smaller apartment. As a result of that, you have surprises. Surprises that within a single story, you have a ceiling that's like seven meters high. I think in the end, you design for the user's experience. I consider myself to be a humanist and less of a formalist. In a way, I think the approach is very classical. Classical in the sense that you are very concerned about the human response to a series of composed spaces. Tranquility, space, light, and structural order. With those primary elements of architecture, you could create a product that's strong enough to stand on its own. I aspire to create spaces that are very tranquil and that could move the human spirit. It's with those aspirations that I designed Leiden Residence.